Thank you, Elizabeth, for the beautiful readings. And I think it's very important because it's one of the areas that we are tempted. I know how much I was tempted. And I am so grateful tonight for what Mrs. Eddy was given for our whole world to know. In science, we learn that because of our oneness with God, because we are his children, his reflection, that we can acknowledge our true being and know that that true being lacks nothing, which is we don't lack health, freedom, harmony. All that God has is ours. We are to prove this by rejecting the false testimony that comes to tempt us, telling us the contrary to the above. Part of this proving, I found, is in tithing. I used to be so afraid to tithe because I was looking at what I had and my obligations and it was never enough. But I learned that to set aside that 10% for God demonstrated my loyalty to him as an inexhaustible source and that source will supply all my needs. So with prayer for courage, I did so. I did do the tithing and I found a change in my supply. So if anyone is wondering, you know, why this tithing, why this tithing, prove it. Prove God, prove that God is your source, and you will see what happens. God loves us and does not withhold anything from us. And since the, this is a, well, quite a while ago, but since then, I have found in that blue book, page 80, again, please, whoever needs it, look at it. Towards the end there, it talks about our work coming from mind, you know. Everything he will supply, our companionship, our recreation, and our supply from this inexhaustible, unobstructed, omnipresent source of income and infinite as is the source, so infinite is his supply. So I thank God greatly for what I have learned. And there's nothing better than being fearless about giving. I'm so grateful for this and grateful to God, to Mrs. Eddy, for, for this teaching in science. I'm so grateful to be here tonight to hear all the beautiful testimonies about God's supply. He does, does supply. We've got to rely on him as a source of all our needs. 